If you're ever having a bad day, just imagine a T-Rex making a bed. Because he can't. Today you're going to learn how to change colors in your knitting. You're going to find this technique in a whole lot of knitting patterns and it couldn't be simpler. You can see how we use this color changing technique here in our Sulam shawl pattern by Janica Carter. Between the larger blocks of solid colors, the colors alternate creating an overall gradient look. What I love about this pattern is that Janica called it Sulam and she said that that means ladder. And if you look in the pattern stitches, there's a fun little section that looks like you're climbing up a ladder and it's got gorgeous cables and other techniques in it. It really is like you are climbing up your ladder of techniques so you can really build on the skills that you already have and learn some new things. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the link for this pattern in the description for you. And while you are there on the site, go ahead and sign up for email updates because that's where you can get all kinds of fun stuff from us. As for the yarn, we opted for our Twisted Tweed Sport Weight yarn, which I love so much. It's a really unique yarn base because it has little flecky tweedy bits throughout and it's two different types of wool twisted together. So it's a great yarn to choose for cardigans, pullovers, shawls, blankets, anything where you want something soft and cozy yet sophisticated. All right, let's go ahead and change colors. We're gonna start with learning how to change colors every two rows. So here I have a couple of rows knitted with color one. When you finish with that color, you're just gonna go ahead and drop it. And we're just gonna ignore that for now. Now go ahead and pick up your second color, leaving a nice long tail. And all you're gonna do is start knitting the next row with that new color. You're gonna notice that your first stitch might be kind of wild and loosey-goosey, and that is totally fine because you can cinch it up later. You're just gonna go ahead and knit across your row in whatever pattern the, in whatever stitch pattern the pattern tells you to do. So I'm just working some basic knit stitches today. When you get to the end, go ahead and reverse it and we're gonna work back to where we started. We want all our little loops going up the same side. So that is why we're working an even number of rows per color. So that's what it should be looking like so far. We're gonna switch back to the first color. To do that, you're gonna turn your work and drop that color you're working with and pick up that original color. So for me, that's the blue. What you wanna do is just simply pull it loosely up the side. You don't want it too tight because it might pinch up your edge. So keep it nice and loose and go ahead and just knit away. You're gonna knit two rows with this one. So there's two colors in the blue. Here's what you should be looking at. You can see how you get these little color changes on the back there. And then on the front, you can see how it looks different. So you can actually use that as a design technique if you would like in your knitting. Then if you wanna switch back to the other color, same thing, and you're just gonna keep repeating this. You're just gonna pull this one up the side loosely and start working with that one. So it really is as simple as that to change colors every two rows in your knitting. Let me show you the edge. You really can't even tell. Like it's just gonna be almost impossible to tell that you're even pulling colors up the side. If the pattern asks you to change colors every four rows, you're gonna pull it up the side just like we have been. However, there is a little caveat, so let me show you that. I've worked two rows of this pink color, but I wanna continue working with this color. So I wanna bring the blue up with me. I don't want the blue to get lost down here and then we're gonna have a giant loop going up the side because that would be visible. So what I'm gonna do is drop the pink and wrap it in front of the blue and then pull it back up and I'm going to keep working with it. So I've now captured the blue in the pink strand. So it is coming up the side with me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work two rows really quickly just so you can see what that looks like when we come back around to it. So you can see I've carried that blue up the side and I could keep going if you wanted to, you could do it again. Drop your yarn, wrap it in front, and keep going again. And that blue will just keep being carried up the side. You can see how it just gets tucked in on the edge there. Nice and tidy. So I've worked a few more rows here, and you can see how the yarn is just neatly carried up the side and it still has some nice stretch. 
so you can block your beautiful finished item. Now on the back side, you can see how the yarn is pulled right up there along the edge and it just looks really gorgeous. If you do prefer, you can also work a border around um, if you wanna cover those up, but I think it's just really fabulous and it's just a nice technique so you don't have nine million ends to weave in later. So how many rows can you knit using this twisting up the side technique? You would actually be surprised at how many you can get away with and not notice that you've pulled colors up the side. Now today I did show a flat knitted piece but the same rule applies to items knitted in the round. You just pull the yarn up the inside of the piece and they're all hidden and you can't see anything. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any other ideas, recommendations, suggestions for other tutorials you would like to see us do, please holler at us below and we will do our best to make that happen. Remember to go out and have a most marvelous and gorgeous day because you totally deserve it. Don't you forget it. I'm going to see you next time. Bye for now. Ta-ta. T-Rex making a bed. Because he can't. Because he'd fall over. Wow. That's impressive. I mean, I figured because of this. Snaps for Tim. Snaps for Tim. What I love about this pattern is it's um, between, sorry, my hat's hitting something. My hat is literally hitting the back. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Bye for now. Do, 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 do. Bye, bye.